My name is Sharika Day. I am at Warren Williams, I'm doing part of the Making Conversation interview. Today is December the 6th, 2018. If you could please state your name and your date of birth. My name is Cassandra Washington, and I was born August the 22nd, 1954. Miss Cassandra, how long have you lived at Warren Williams? About 31 years. And tell me, what's, what's, um, what brought you to Warren Williams? Well, I had just came home from Texas, and um, my mother was, had their home over in Holly Hills. And uh, she brought me down here for me and my kids to uh, get an apartment down here in Warren Williams. That's how I wound up, wind up in Warren Williams. Okay. And because I had never really lived in the projects because my stepfather and my father was military because my mother married two times. So I was a military brat. And uh, I married military. So when we broke up, I came home with the kids and we, my mother moved us, got a, a, helped me get my apartment down here in Warren Williams. And that was in 1985. And my kids was little, and now they are all grown up with children. And I'm a great grandmother. I have eight grandchildren and one great grand. What has your um, experience been like living here? Well, since I've been here all these years, it's, it's it was really really great. I met a whole lot of people. Some are gone. Some some are still here. I met young people, older people middle-aged people, and uh, some of them moved out, some of them still here, we're still friends. I, as I was living here, I got close with, closer with older pe people on this side, mm -hmm. and I think about four or five of them have, have went on. Mm -hmm. And along with my mother and everybody else, those old women taught me how to be, because I was a young girl when I moved down here. I was like 33 years old, still young, and those old women taught me a whole lot. Taught me a whole lot about living in Warren Williams and being a neighbor and everything of that sort. So it's been really enjoyable living down here all these many years. It really has. Tell me about um, the holidays are coming up. So what are you looking forward to um, or how are you looking forward to spending your holidays? Well, I still have a big family, so mostly I, I uh, choose each year who I'm going to spend the holiday with. So this year, I'm not going out of town. I'm going to go to Fort Mitchell, Alabama and spend it with my middle daughter and my older daughter and their children and everything. We all going to convene at that one house. And do you have a favorite holiday memory? I have so many I can't even explain to you. You know, I raised all my grandkids and my first granddaughter in that house. Of course, you got pictures, you know, of her on Christmas Day and up at the museum and stuff. And then I raised the rest of them, of them up down here and they done spent quite a few holidays at my little apartment and you know, stuff like that. So I've had joyful, joyful Christmases, joyful Thanksgivings. Mm -hmm. Each and every holiday is, is a treat for me because I enjoy spending them with my family and my grandchildren and you know, and I have family all over the, all over the, 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 the country. Mm -hmm. So as I said, I choose where I'm gonna spend my holidays with. Is there anything else you would like to share? Well, only thing I would like to share now is I thank the good Lord for letting me be able to be here in these projects, or as they say, they're called homes now. And I thank the Lord for letting me be here these 64 years. Because like I said, I was a young girl when I got, came down here. Just barely getting out of my 20s and I was 33. So now I'm 65 and that's, I thank the Lord for letting me be in this spot this, just this long. Yes. Well, thank you for your time and I, we appreciate you um, sharing your experiences and, and being part of the Making Conversation Project. Thank you.